Welcome y'all, it's Wes with DIY Food Plot Pro. Thanks so much for joining us. Today we're talking about brassicas. Are they worth planting? Are they the meat and potatoes of our food plot systems? Or should they be something that is limited to a small area on our farms? So if you've food plotted very long or listened to very many food plotters, you've likely seen what happens with brassicas is it's very inconsistent. Some years you get absolutely hammered. Other years it's like they never touch it. If they do touch it, it's almost always later in the deer season, especially when uh, hunting season's over in January, February. It's when they really hammer it. Everybody used to say that the reason for that was the turnips and radishes didn't have as good a sugar content before a frost. They needed a frost or a freeze to increase that sugar content to make deer want to eat them. We now know through the National Deer Association study that that's false, but it still, it makes sense to a lot of us is why do the deer only eat it later on in the season? For us here in Western Kentucky, we're talking about somewhere in the, in the neighborhood of early December is about the earliest that you're gonna see deer hammering turnips and radishes. Like I said, we all used to think it was sugar content. We know now that's not the case. So what is it? Why are they starting to hit it later in the year? And I think it boils down to a whole bunch of different things happen at once in that whitetail's life. Let's go through them. What's the most preferred food source of any whitetails in the fall? If you said any food plot system, you're wrong. It's acorns. Acorns are the most preferred food source in the limited window that they drop. They will leave crop fields, leave food plots, and they're gonna be in those woods and those acorns. But those acorns are only available in a short window in the early fall. By the time December rolls around, there may be a few crumbs in there, but for the most part, all the crackers are gone, okay? There's not many acorns left when you start talking early December, mid-December, and on. What else is a big food source for whitetails in the fall? Harvested crop fields, corn especially, but soybeans as well. Most of the time, our crops around here are harvested early to mid-September. If you're looking at that early December to December 15th before your whitetails start eating your brassicas, those fields have been harvested for close to two months at that point. So the whitetails have for the most part, wiped out all the leftover grain in those corn and soybean fields. So that's a great big one as well. Your alfalfa is pretty much done when you get that first freeze date. So that's for us is around mid November. All of a sudden you've got your acorns, your corn, your soybeans, and your alfalfa all within say a month, month and a half is completely dried up. Four very good, highly sought after food sources for your whitetails are gone within a month and a half of each other. Okay, so this is the way that I look at this. If I tell you I don't like pizzas, okay, and you feed me uh, beef and pork, and chicken for, and I'm just as content with anything with those right there, okay? Well, then all of a sudden one day, the beef, the pork, and the chicken are gone. The only choice at that point is either pizza or starch. Which one are you gonna pick? I'm gonna choose the pizza, even though I don't like it as much. And I think that is really what happens with these brassicas. And I don't think it's at the point to where they just hate it, but I don't think it is nearly as preferred as say corn, soybeans, acorns, alfalfa, but those food sources are no longer available to them. And so they have to choose another food source and brassicas fit that bill. So Wes, are you telling us that you're not gonna plant any brassicas and that you hate brassicas? No, that's not the case at all. I really do like brassicas. I think they have a place in my food plot systems. I think they are terrific for that late, late season. Not necessarily the best to hunt over, but I really like them for that January, February period where there is literally nothing else to eat and that's still giving your whitetail something to eat, getting them back up to weight for the following spring. I think that is vitally important. But if I have a one acre or an acre and a half or say two acre food plot on my 100 acre farm, am I putting two acres of brassicas in there? No, I am not gonna do that. I don't think they're the best to hunt over. Now, with that being said, this year I know many of you have suffered like we have with drought. There are gonna be a lot of people that are trying to turn to something and they're gonna turn to brassicas this fall. I don't think that's a bad idea. If your plots fail because of drought and your corn and your soybeans are just died out, brassicas are a good choice to come in late fall and plant, but I also want cereal grains in there as well. 
not just of brassicas. So I've heard many a times guys say, well, you can't just sow brassicas in a spot. You gotta put oats and cereal rye, things like that that have a really good pull in there with that food plot to make the deer want to eat it. And, and to me, when I start thinking about the how that makes sense in my brain, so it's you're putting something good out there that's attracting those whitetails so that they'll eat something that they normally wouldn't eat, essentially is, is what that's saying. Uh, now I have had some experience doing that and it's worked some. The year that we could corn, I actually had a two acre brassica plot. I was feeding corn to the whitetail and they hammered that plot all winter long. The reason for it though, they were there because of the corn. The next year we couldn't use corn anymore. I planted another field on that farm in Nebraska in the same general area and it was very little use. So without the corn there, they didn't really use the brassicas nearly as much. The corn was the draw. What I'm sitting here kind of thinking is, why do I need a big spot of brassicas when it's the cereal grains or it's the corn that's pulling them in, right? When I'm looking at a turnip and radish plot, I'm not really looking for something to hunt over. I'm looking for something to help rebuild my whitetails uh, in the winter months. So if I have a small plot, half, three quarters of an acre, uh, somewhere kind of off one of my main plots, that's a perfect spot that I'm gonna put in brassicas. So in conclusion, I don't think that brassicas are the meat and potatoes of the food plot systems. I'm still going with my big names, my corn, my soybeans, my alfalfas, and then I'm gonna let these brassicas kind of fall into places that don't fit in well with those other crops. We're getting real close to planting brassicas right now, and I'm gonna have a whole nother video on how to do that. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Smash that like and subscribe button if you found the video helpful.